on the date as well, reading all caps. I want to cut boots. They also added that they've been busy and irritated, but they want to finish fast. It's a part-time job, and they got tired staying up all night. I think we know why they're staying up all night. Also in the day of the day, an extremely long walk attack that appears to be a long day of Most of which is lost in translation, but it appears to be great by some of the pressure to just do it. Wow. Saying that they were all over the world, and wondering if they can adapt to the walk in this society. Sir, this is a way to see you can match for game the style of gameplay in four different colored Kirby's. In the game, a mirror world in Dreamland makes any wish it reflects come to life. However, it copies the mind of some of the characters now the world is evil. Up to Kirby again to save the day. Although it seemed at one point Kirby was originally going to fail this task rather horribly. Because in the files of the game is a cut screen that features our little pink hero slumped over dead in a pool of blood. There's also Japanese text on the screen that according to fan translations goes something like, Escape dead. I knew it wasn't possible. Something came out. Well, certainly something came out. Impossible to believe this could have ended up in a kid's game. Impossible too because Kirby's immortal depending on which fans you ask. As death screens for the characters usually just show and falling asleep. Whereas on this screen, there's no question that Kirby looks dead as hell. This unused screen looks like it could have been intended as a team over screen, but somehow the team originally thought the scene would have fit the brightly colored adventure. Unless Kirby had to be swimming in a puddle of petrol fish, Kirby and his team probably would have called. Spidey, thanks to Honeymoon for submitting this stuff to the top of the top. Another recent classic from Tony Hawk Pro Skater's Belt is another soft as a hybrid game. Used to the PlayStation Keyboard Color and later ported to the N64 Dreamcast for the This title was one of my favorite features and takes the web zone on this security and has a good life to have a skill to move back into the box box. No stuff from the modern one is the game that's the safest with men, as in the data for the home computer versions of the game. There are some more than unkind references to a developer named Matt Duncan calling him sh** and saying he needs to be fired immediately, but not before being kicked in the nuts, and also that something's wrong in the state of Denmark. What does this have to do with Denmark? And apparently that's not the only offense, as there's also notes that Matt f***ed up the rhino, which leads to another request to fire him, but not before kicking him in the nuts again. Here I was thinking the swear words being punched out on the passport screen was pushing it. And after countless expletives and more demands to fire Matt, there's also the question of who's been smoking crack today. Clearly somebody. Hopefully this is all a joke, and I did find the one that had been never saw before, so if I had to guess, they'd probably kick Matt in the nuts. Snail Bob. Thanks to Boy Liker for submitting this discovery on Audio.com. Snail Bob is a series of herbal games that help Bob across the environment by some reason simple for the place that I talk to. Snail Bob is essentially as innocent as he gets, greatly, more pleasant than Apple Amsterdam. Something, however, was found in the files of the game that appears to be the last thing that would be appropriate for such a reason. As in the files of the game, it can be found with a mixture that appears to be a normal camouflage texture. But if you look closely, you can see the shape that make up the camouflage and the bodies of the game. Yeah. 
Panthers played uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Phantom Liberty. See them all Cyberpunk up right now. Uh, he was pretty awesome. Only had 20 minutes, so I hope it went as fast as possible. That is a step up. So then I died. And it, and it like crapped out how good the combat is. It's so slick. What's funny is Mrs. Odd was playing it. Oh, his wife.
And McDonald with that pick six time, baby. Got 
Wamba. Brings up third and fourteen. 
Delbert is trying to deny this character in the series history. As in the day, come on, come on, back. Spike now, boarding a spike out of the sensor. Okay. 
Mason and Nathan and S and Neil for submitting this mystery on the Hot Hair Discord. Battlefield 4's 2013 installment in DICE's popular first person shooter series, selling over 7 million copies worldwide. Despite selling so many copies, only two people were ever have supposedly witnessed an extraterrestrial discovery in Battlefield 4. On the DLC map, Propaganda has been the subject of enormous enthusiasm. YouTuber Jack Traggs is one of the most popular trusted music in the Battlefield community, which is why it was unusual in 2014 when Jack Traggs was in the game. I just saw a f***ing UFO! What? I just saw a UFO! No, you didn't. I did! I f***ing did! 100%! 100%! It's here! Jack Braggs later explained that his friend is a completely trustworthy source and would have no reason to make up such a claim. But it didn't really help that he said he may have also been 50% drunk at the time, which I guess at least isn't 100% drunk. What adds some substance to the mystery, though, is the fact that they were both playing with a developer at the time of the supposed UFO sighting, who remained suspiciously quiet when this happened. Unfortunately, no one claimed to see the UFO again until two months later when Twitter user Martin Timmerman tagged Jack Braggs to say that he saw the UFO as well, and that it was shaped like the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. And Jack believed him to be trustworthy as Martin was a member of the TFU Battlefield clan where Jack was friends with several of the members. Martin, unfortunately, however, like many real-life UFO reportings, also didn't manage to be reporting at the time and also admitted that he may have been high when he saw the UFO. Well, it does at least sound like he was in another dimension. One Battlefield developer, Julian Manilov, on Twitter said that he didn't know anything about the egg, but confessed someone may have put a UFO in the game as he doesn't know all the easter eggs people may have put in. There's also been a number of clues discovered suggesting something from another world is really intervening with Battlefield 4. So a few art photos we found on number 10 on Final Fantasy number 4. Either super OEPs for Battlefield 2042 or a reference to the intergalactic space comedy Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, where 42 is said to be the meaning of life. There's also a dog tag that arrived in the same DLC that introduced the map propaganda that very suspiciously was called the Alien Trio Dog Tag. Furthermore, there are even references to a UFO found in the date of a separate level test cell storm. The Julian Analog this time confirmed that one was part of an unfinished Easter egg and that all references to it will be removed in a future update. The only clue that remains is Strange tiny symbols that can be found in three completely random spots on the map. That's heading towards something, but nobody's sure why. There's also been plenty of footage that have shown up on the internet of a UFO such as this. But since this video was uploaded on an account that belongs to a pretty decent animator, it's pretty safe to say this one's cool. Whatever these players saw, there definitely seems to be a lot of evidence to suggest that aliens are indeed somehow involved with Battlefield 4. The new units too really did see something those years back in the sky on the map propaganda. It'd just be a lot more convincing if both of them didn't say they were up at the time of discovery. Full playground. Thanks to Boris, James Corbett, Bobby the Bob, X Saw and Fatty for sending these mysteries to rockhunter.com. Full playground is extremely mysterious, uh, game, I guess. But it's not the four points of the bizarre nature, as it seems to be dedicated to the looking portrait of the human life creature that is making a range of ways as possible. Well, now what the purpose of all this are planned. The new discoveries are playing closer to the game being put to place in facility that's researching how to eradicate humans, as if the incredibly elaborate rabbit hole from the last coverage wasn't enough. Players have since found an area discovered on the map blocks that would give you more reasons to be more than the As they turn up, they see the map is going to be a more specific spot. The game will seemingly blare to be a lot. After which the game will then state that the seed map is resolved before bringing the player back to the main menu. They gain the game file and now be found the file of and result. Then when open reveals a string of random text that no one's been able to decipher so far. There's also supposedly these strange things we found on the map hybrid that's functioning to help save the number of the game. Just like a radio I covered before that also had other rooms how it disappeared and it's never seen again. So if anyone out there has any idea what this strange end result text might be saying, please help us decipher it before whoever's using Google Playground as a test simulator actually comes to Earth and achieves their end result. Churro Q. Thanks for supporting 289 for submitting this channel. Churro Q, or Churro Q H4 in Japan, is a really unique self card PG on the PlayStation 2, released in 2003 in Japan and 2004 in the US. Where players compete in a hybrid of races and RPG adventure in a world where touching cards are the dominant species, or at least that's how it appears. Based on a popular storyline similar to Hot Wheels in the film, Churro Q, you're going to then midway into the adventure where you can talk to a farmer named Ross Perry who says he heard noises in his field and asks if he wanted to hear his story. He then tells a weird tale about hearing a strange noise that caused him to jump out of bed. When he saw an enormous pea pod in his field, when a car jumped out of it that he described as looking just like himself, and then the pod flew into the sky. Um, right. He'll then ask if you believe this story, and if you somehow do, he'll put many things in the toy. 
However, you say no, you can't to get even a year. Blackberry said they knew you wouldn't believe them, and they made a fool out of them because they're from the country and asked you to leave them alone. When you come to talk to Rossbury again, he'll have an antenna on his head, and the next time he seems to refer to himself as Hello Co-Buckter. Seems normal. Rossbury continues to say odd things like referring to you as a native inhabitant, or we already start to Ferrari number one. Extremely weirdly, however, a weird discovery was found if you were to be able to return to Rossbury's house as no number of times. As eventually the game will soon go into material mode that appears as though everything is glitching while you can hear an unsettling buzzing and the game's compass spins out of control. This discovery is so rare it actually took Slippy Slides 201 times to get it to work. In fact, here's the notes he kept to keep track of what he was doing. Although it did take significantly less time to work for him on the Japanese version. But they think bizarrely if you were to pull up the town map, you'll suddenly get this image of the true view of system and danger jet number 5. With the message that you started being close to the beam, you have no one sure what to do, as well as strange shapes and glitches uncontrolled. You can drive up to random locations where some of the names are used to random things. So it's just question marks, oh my god, or humiliation, no one's here, what the hell? Until recently, this not was never sent to the map. Until it was found using the Wayback Archive of the Game's Guide, did reference it back, revealing that if you were to say no to Rossbury, something strange happens in the town at night, and that its occurrence is super rare. But it still doesn't explain the ultimate purpose. It's all besides the next day of the third time that something needs to appear after the maze of developers, leading us to believe that there's still something more here to be found that still hasn't been solved. Also, I'm starting to wonder, was that really Rossbury back then? Still have no idea what the f*** this has to do with maybe, so... There's a gap in the world between what is needed and what is agreed. But what? Alan Wake. Alan Wake is a third-person action-adventure game from the developers of the original Max Payne in 2019's Control. Inspired by the works of Stephen King and David Lynch, released in 2010 as an Xbox 360 exclusive, followed by a Windows version in 2012 and a recent remaster from modern consoles released last year in 2021. Alan Wake is a twist-filled mystery where its titular protagonist, Alan Wake, a thriller author, attempts to solve the disappearance of his wife, Alice, during a trip to the fictional small town of Wright Falls, Washington. All while the horrific events of a novel he doesn't remember writing seem to become reality. The game primarily centers around the mysterious culture in Lake. It's a supernatural force known as the Dark Presence slowly takes over the setting of Lake Fall. While the origin of the Dark Presence is unknown through the story, there appears to be a number of discoveries suggesting there may be a different, other worldly entity around Bright Falls that's never revealed in the game, such as what appears to be a UFO on a random one. Ah, to enable him again. And he's out of a knee cartilage tear. He will be back six weeks from now. Whiteboard in the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Or an especially unnerving, never explained being of some sort depicted on a painting that can be found in the therapist Dr. Hartman's office. There's also a newspaper in this diner where the headline can be seen UFO scare. Lights in the sky bright and populous. And while this text isn't legible in the game, the official survival guide features all the newspaper clippings of Bright Falls, where the article reveals that the residents reported witnessing mysterious lights over Cauldron Lake that were said to have hovered over the diver's aisle part of the lake for 30 minutes. Though Deputy Mulgrew